What is going on, everybody? So, if you watch my Bo is Afraid review, you know, as I said, I went to the movie theater, did a double feature, was there all day Thursday. It was a wonderful time. I had a very great experience. It's not often that I get to go do a double feature in the theater anymore, just with how crazy life gets. And so it was awesome to spend the whole day at the theater. And I taught, gave my thoughts on Bo is Afraid. But the second film I watched was Evil Dead Rise. And as some of you may know, I'm a huge fan of the Evil Dead franchise, enough to where, if you could see on screen, I have a very unique Necronomicon tattoo. Huge fan of the Evil Dead. I think that it's just one of the most consistent franchises that exist. I love Sam Raimi's mind. I think the original three are great. When the Fetty Alvarez 2013 remake came out, I was so skeptical, didn't know what to think of it, and it almost ended up being a reimagining, less of a remake. So fantastic, incredibly well done, amazing performances. So when this new project was announced where Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell were producing, they were a little bit attached. New filmmakers, new people attached to it. I didn't know what to think, but I was excited to go in and watch it anyway, and the film I'm going to do is discussing today is Evil Dead Rise. Evil Dead Rise is directed by Lee Cronin. Two sisters find an ancient book that gives birth to bloodthirsty demons that run amok in a Los Angeles apartment building and thrusts them into a primal battle for survival as they face the most nightmarish version of family imaginable. So as I said, I'm a huge fan of the Evil Dead franchise. Was super nervous about how this was gonna be, but excited to watch it, and this movie was fucking incredible. It was everything I could have wanted an Evil Dead film, something that takes the ideas and everything that we love about Evil Dead, but puts it in a new environment with new characters. It has a completely different setup than we're used to. Still characters making stupid decisions, which is my favorite part of the entire Evil Dead franchise. Characters make dumb decisions, bad things happen to them fantastic but this was so cool what i liked about the 2013 reimagining of evil dead was that you know the whole premise of going to the cabin in the woods was this young girl who was a drug addict she's been through a lot her friends and family were trying to help her get clean and that was a really interesting allegory for the possession of evil dead this film it follows a mother and her children they live in this apartment in la together uh, it's a decrepit apartment it's about to be demolished the mom is trying to figure out where they're going to move and the mother her sister ends up showing up she just got back from going on tour she uh works uh with guitar equipment and things for a for a traveling band and so she comes and she hang she's seeing her sister and the kids they're at the house and she's got something going on in her own life and so amidst all this there's an earthquake at the building and when the earthquake happens the siblings are down in the parking garage they just went and got pizza they pulled back into the parking garage and a hole broke in the middle of the floor while well, one of the siblings goes down into the floor and finds what else the necronomicon and so the film is as you've seen in the trailer the mother gets possessed by the spirit and the family has to fight for survival i just thought this movie was absolutely fantastic and number one reason is the character dynamics in this are great the way that they build up this family at the beginning of the movie is so perfect it feels very natural there's not ham-fisted expositional dialogue with the exception of the mother talking to the sister about her and her husband separating recently it's mostly just very natural the chemistry between these actors is fantastic they all do a really great job making you care about them so that when shit blows up you actually care and there's stakes involved and that's one of the things with these movies. The first Evil Dead, it was a bunch of stupid kids going out to a cabin in the woods. You didn't really attach yourself onto them. It was more just watching the experience of this crazy stuff happening. The 2013 remake did a great job of building up those characters and making you care for them. This one does so in a way that's even more so, in my opinion, building up those characters. The other thing this film does fantastic is the violence is insane. I did not expect it to get as gory as it did but my god lee cronin did not pull back from how absolutely violent and insane it is you see a little bit of hints in the trailer as to what you're getting into but it by no means reveals just how insane the things that you see in this movie are there are some visual effects stuff in this that is just absolutely incredible mixed with some really cool practical effects they did a really nice job balancing the two it doesn't feel super cheesy feels very much like an original evil dead film which is something i appreciate and one of the things i really like about this movie is that there are young kids involved in this that are like like a younger generation and something to me about including someone who's younger especially the very youngest girl that's in the family 
point is like it really goes to show that these possessed demons do not give a shit about the age of the people or who they are it's like we're going on a killing spree we're taking souls we don't give a shit who is involved and i think that is what this movie does so well at kind of showing the evil of these demons and the, the things that they are willing to do in order to kind of manipulate and twist and seeing a family be involved made it all the more interesting because with families and being that tight-knit it would be really hard to turn on someone you love that quickly if they change especially a, a maternal figure like a mother when you're close with her and she's the one raising you your father's not in the picture anymore it would be really hard to turn on a dime and so those manipulation tactics that she uses similarly to the other deadites in the films before it just it felt more compelling to me in a way that just like stuck with me a lot thinking about that and like i said the visual effects in this are great it does not pull away from some of the humor that evil dead is known for which is great it has a very sadistic style of humor that i can appreciate and i just had a dumb smile on my face the entire movie because similar to scream six this year here's another film and in an installment in a horror franchise that i love and this franchise is so damn consistent similar to scream where the, there's not a bad film in the entire franchise and I, I'm planning on doing a uh, ranked list for Evil Dead here in the near future. Now that I've seen Rise, I'm going to go back and revisit some of the other ones uh, because I want to see where they are when they're fresh in my mind. But I could see this one being anywhere on the list right now. It's really, I know I like it a little bit more than Army of Darkness as far as with 2013 and the original. I don't know. It's kind of all up in the air for me. Still don't think anything could top Evil Dead 2 because it's still one of my favorite horror films of all time. There's just something unique and special about that film that I just don't think will ever be matched. But as far as the other things in the franchise, it's fair game. This movie was really great, and I did not expect it to be as good as it was, but it was that good, and I would highly recommend going to the theater this weekend. Between this and Bo is Afraid, you're in for a really great time. So have you seen Evil Dead Rise? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was fantastic. Absolutely incredible. Really don't have any qualms with it. It was such a great time. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.